what's going on you guys so today is day seven of covid symptom updates um so a couple of things have changed um i no longer have the pressure fire pressure in the center of my chest that has basically gone away um it's been replaced by a lot of coughing um it's basically a very strong cough um it causes me to almost borderline choke at times um there's a weird not there's not an itch but when i start to cough it's more like a a dry <clears throat> a dryness in this section that um starts causing me to uh want to hack which is not a good feeling um because the more that i cough triggers the um the shortness of breath which can be very alarming because it almost feels like you're choking and you can't actually catch your breath um which sucks it really does suck because honestly that happened to me earlier today when i was brushing my teeth and i kind of thought you know holy crap this this i'm choking um because i couldn't catch my breath i kept coughing and coughing but there was not enough um period in between coughs where i can catch my breath and then i started feeling um the shortness of breath so i was um kind of almost panicking um but luckily it passed and i've been trying to drink more warm stuff to kind of like soothe that um aside from that every, basically everything else has gone um but another symptom has arrived and it's kind of an embarrassing one but i am suffering from diarrhea um, I can't eat anything um, without it sending me to the restroom almost instantly so that sucks and um, it's just constant constant um, and even drinking water within like half an hour I'm in the restroom just flushing everything out um, which is not a good thing eh, because um, things are starting to get very very sensitive back there and that's that's not what you want <clears throat> as far as the as far as emma goes and that cough that we had um that i mentioned um it went away she she i think she might have just had like a an allergy attack from when we sprayed her room um because her eyes did get watery they turned red and she did have a cough but i'm hoping that it was just like a an allergy attack from from the lysol spray as far as vivian goes She's actually dealing with the same thing as far as the um, shortness of breath. Um, and that's basically it. The fatigue is basically going away, but it does um, it does get very strong um, during the night because it just um, your body gets more relaxed and it just feels like it's really draining on you um, at night. But aside from that, it, the... Um, We've been recovering pretty good. This is day seven. Um, we no longer have the body aches. We're no longer suffering from fever or, or chills. Um, we no longer have um, the headaches, the, the vertigo. Um, but we, we have replaced, oh, and no longer have that pressure in the chest, but it's been replaced with a cough and diarrhea. So aside from that, oh, and the shortness of breath, um, we are suffering from the shortness of breath, but only when we do things um, out of the regular. So if we just get up to use the restroom or to go into the kitchen to grab some food, then we're good. But the minute that we decide like we need to wash these dishes or we need a shower, then um, it's almost like you're exerting yourself beyond that that minimum limit. And then you start feeling like you're you're um, suffering from shortness of breath. But aside from those things, um, we're recovering pretty good. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to give you guys uh, an update on day seven. And there you go.